What the? Oh! Huh? Hi, and welcome to this episode of Flickering Dreams. I've got uh, all my, my friends here today. We've got Scott, Andy and Bob. We're reviewing Irish Wish, which is on Netflix at the moment. And basically, Maddie, played by Lindsay Lohan, is sort of in love with her friend, current fiancé, soon-to-be husband, and she's a bridesmaid in their wedding in Ireland. Here's a clip. Emma! Have you seen Paul? I haven't seen him anywhere. <laughs> How did he get in there? What is wrong? I am not the one who's getting married. She is. <gasps> exactly. You, my friend, are marrying Paul Kennedy. Yes! Come on. Ah! Hello. It's you. <laughs> like running into a sports car like that is something you do every day. In a wedding dress. In a wedding dress. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's it's a very paint by numbers rom com for me. That even just when you start, you know exactly how it is going to end. Dare I say, overacting from Lindsay Lohan. But yeah, she's been keeping the groom hidden from her friends, and when. At the very beginning, he bumps into her and her friends. There's an instant spark and suddenly this whirlwind engagement and marriage and devastation on her part. I can't really say much good about this, to be honest. I didn't even find it very good in the way bad rom-coms are good. I think it is like several other films. Um even the little twists and things. It was a carbon copy. It was quite dull for me personally i did find myself getting up and doing a bit of tidying in the living room whilst i was watching it which is never a good sign but you know it will definitely hit the spot for some people and uh, being that it is available on netflix i can't see it doing too badly Andy, what did you think of it let's face it none of us here are really the target audience <laughs> <laughs> and i think as you say it will hit the spot for some people because this is a, this is basically a teenage rom com, where a young girl gets her wish granted and it doesn't quite work out as she hopes it does. I thought Island looked beautiful. Having said mm. that, this is on Netflix. This is one film I would like to have seen on the big screen for the cinematography and for the scenery because the scenery is absolutely stunning. It looks wonderful. The story is pretty mediocre. I mean, it's a boy meets girl falls in love with boy. Girl gets her wish to marry him, then discovers she actually doesn't love him at all, and he doesn't love her. The whole <laughs> thing is 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 so telegraphed; it's beyond belief. But I think for some people, I mean, my daughter saw this, and she absolutely really—I wouldn't say she loved it, but she really enjoyed it. So there's some fun to be had for some people. It wasn't my cup of tea. It's a silly romantic rom com with lots of coincidences, and um, I wasn't quite sure whether it was a witch or a saint was actually granting wicked the wishes. Wicked Witch of is, the West of Ireland. The Wicked Witch of the, of the Western <laughs> Islands kept appearing. I didn't see any ruby slippers, but I thought that yeah, it's fine. It's not great. It's not bad. It's middling. It's fine. <laughs> That's really all I want to say about it. It's fine. <laughs> great Scott, scenery. Great scenery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm with you guys on this one. Um, sort of put it on as knowing that it was going to be generic, easy watching. <laughs> you know with Lindsay Lohan what you're going to get, especially when you see the poster as well. It is so hallmark. Uh, <laughs> there's no surprises in there. It does everything you expect it would do. There's the storyline reminded me in a way of uh, Disney's Wish in the sense that when you're watching it, it's completely easy to understand. When you try to explain it to someone, yeah. you you try and say this person loved this person, and they did that person, and then they, that happened, and you're like, it's it's far more difficult to explain what it's about than actually just watching it. But yeah, it, it looked nice. The score was fine. It's something that I'm going to forget about in a month's time. That long? <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. Yeah, maybe. But, yeah, there's not much more to be said. Generic Hallmark <laughs> style rom com from Lindsay Lohan. You know what a, it is. A, a little bizarre to see. Well, I thought it was a bit bizarre seeing Jane Seymour. <coughs> pop Absolutely, up well. it's kind yeah. of wasted as well. They never yeah, really wasted, did yeah. anything. Wasted. Well. Yeah. Well, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm. 
So what uh, what scores are we going for? Hang on a minute. Uh, Hang on, I've got the Bob yeah. points. Bob's got to give his. Bob's I've giving his it. five star review. You've seen it? Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, no, I've seen this one. Um, Bob, what did you think? Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was all so insipid and lame and. Uh, I, I mean, I was trying to find some good things to, to say about it, and I agreed about the countryside, and I agreed about the music as well by Nathan L- Lania or Lania. I thought that was that was quite nice to go with it. the The best thing in this movie for me was Ed Spears as the romantic kind of second lead, the the one corner of the love triangle. I thought he was. I thought he was really good. I've not se- don't think I've seen him in anything else, but I thought he was kind of like. Um, the illustrious Mrs. Movie Man described him as a dashing young Dominic West. And um, I could see that. And I'd like to see him in a, in a better film, a better rom-com. I think he's, um, he's got some, uh, somewhere to go. But, oh, dear. That, <laughs> that's, the, the funniest scene for me was where she comes out of Knock Airport and there aren't any Ubers, big surprise, right? But there's a bus. And it's not just any old bus. It's a magic Irish bus, so it is. And she gets on the bus, doesn't pay a penny, doesn't pay anything, (laughs) right? And sits down in this bus and she says, I want to go here. Bus driver says, okay, I'll take you there then. And the bus takes her to the gates of this stately mansion, which is probably half a mile up this private road. And dumps her Do you there. Mean I won't get this service if Still I go no, to Ireland. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not a public bus. It's a magic I knew there was Irish something about that scene I was bus. missing. I and knew there was can, something about it. And, and then he, then the bus has to reverse the other half mile down, back down the road again to get back to the main road. Right? Yeah. You imagine? You imagine the Irish guy in the back of the bus saying, "Maureen, you wouldn't believe what happened today. Some <laughs> fucking American got on the bus." And force the bus driver to take it all the way to the... Right. I mean, Which is common as well on how terrible yeah. her friends are. She loses her case <laughs> and then she has to stay behind. They all just bugger off and go to the... Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. And just yeah, leave yeah. her to in the yeah, airport by herself and be like, yeah. all right, bye, see you absolutely. there. Deal with your yeah. problem. It's like, I mean, what? yeah. yeah. It wasn't good, was it? I mean, it's designed to appeal to Americans, isn't it? They, they, they've painted this Irish idol... <laughs> And there's lots of diddly eye music going on in pubs, which, which unfortunately, if you go to Ireland, there is diddly eye music right <laughs> going on in pubs. And everybody drives a supercar, apparently, in Ireland. I would afford it. And they all live in big mansions. I thought that was what caused the troubles like 200, 300 years ago with people living in big mansions. That seems to be lost on the filmmakers, I have to say. But yeah, it wasn't great. But was the it? scenery's nice. The scenery's nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, should we do the scores now? Let's then? do the scores. <laughs> Bob speak. Uh, Andy, what are you giving this one? I'm giving this a five for the scenery because I, I <laughs> loved looking at that. I thought it was beautiful. <laughs> Scott? Yeah, I'm going to match it again. Five out of ten. What about you? Oh, I thought I was being generous. I gave it a four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, so you gave it a four as well. Oh, so, there you go. There you go. That's some nice easy maths, and that gives Irish Rush a 4.5 out of 10, making it a mix. <laughs> what a shame. What a shame. So it is. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter will be gutted. <laughs> the readers of Horse and Hounds will be delighted. Thank you so much for listening or watching Flickering Dreams. You can find the video version on YouTube and the audio version on all major podcast platforms. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get each of the weekly episodes as they are released. We'll see you at the movies.